um, doing a talk called DevOpsReadMe.md. People always ask me, hey, how do I get into DevOps? Well, you're kind of probably already there. So chances are if you're working on open source software, you're there. But if you want to adopt better practices around infrastructure and DevOps, apparently I'm somebody that gets asked that question. So what do I do? I'm a manager of DevOps at Bankrate. Uh, we do financial services marketing. Um, what does a manager of DevOps do? I'm still figuring that out, but uh, you'll get an idea after the slides, hopefully. Uh, I also contribute to opensource.com. Uh, that might be why I'm here today. No comment on that. Anyways, so let's get started. The Phoenix Project, the book that kind of launched DevOps books, right? So great book. It's like a novel. It's very easy to read. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, you can give it to uh, your corporate executives and they'll read it and they'll be like, hey, we need to do this. And in that book, there's a character named Brent and Brent does all the work and Brent is constantly backlogged and has too much work in progress and founders. You know a Brent, go help Brent. Give Brent the book too. The DevOps Handbook is the follow-on uh, to the Phoenix Project. And uh, one thing I like to say is that if you're quoting this book, chances are you are DevOpsing. Uh, but it's more of a use case kind of thing where the novel kind of goes through uh, how the process goes. This kind of tells you how to actually do it. Uh, who has read the 12 Factor app? It's literally a website. There are so many people in ops that have never read it. So they don't understand, like, what do you mean no state in my application? What do you mean, like, serverless? Like, <laughs> what's that? Um, so 12 Factor app will tell you exactly how to do like DevOps style deployments and coding. Release it. So this one's kind of funny because it's like in between editions. It's by Michael Nygaard. Great book, uh, but it's not released yet. Um, coming later this year, uh, the book called Release It's Not Out. Um, but great book on kind of uh, being very technical software deployments, software development life cycles. Uh, Continuous Delivery by Jez Humble, David Fairley, awesome book. Uh, you can give it to your CTO and explain that Continuous Delivery will help them with the acronyms they, are, they care about, ROI, EBITDA, all that fun stuff. Uh, the site, Site Reliability Engineering, I love this book. It's great on like a per chapter basis, but when you consume the whole thing, you go to sleep. It's better than Unisom. Um, <laughs> but what it'll tell you is uh, if you have a big pile of money and you set it on fire by giving it to engineers, they can solve lots of problems. Like Kelsey said yesterday, like Google has a lot of problems. They don't have all the answers. So remember, you're not Google. Don't try and implement everything in this book, but you can learn so much from this book. And it's free. It's online. Google gives you something for free every day. And you're not the product. You don't have to sign in to get it. It's great. <laughs> so the Enterprise DevOps Playbook. Shorter, play, shorter book uh, shows that uh, traditional IT enterprises can work in a DevOps model. Uh, you can't use ITIL as a handbook, sorry. But you can do DevOps things to keep your developers and your operations people happy. They do work together somehow. Uh, the Open Organization Guide to IT Culture Change. Culture is such a big deal with DevOps. If you're not uh, embracing the culture, you're not doing anything to help yourself. So this book, kind of like the SRE book, is a series of essays put together by various authors from the open org uh, to help people with transitions into more open cultures. Lean Enterprise. This is not a weight loss book. This will actually teach you things about being faster in your organization. Give it a read. Beyond Blame, who likes to be blamed when things break? I mean, I'm an ops guy. I break stuff all the time, I'll admit it. It's nice not to be blamed for it, so <laughs> read the book. It'll teach you how to not to get blamed for stuff. Uh, this one is uh, earth-shatteringly scary. Uh, it's done by Dr. Robert Cook. Uh, basically, he talks about how complex systems fail, and you're the human. You're the problem. So address that. <laughs> In search of certainty, uh, the only things that are certain, death, taxes, and pager duty, uh, you will get paged. This helps you deal with that. And like 15 seconds left on the clock, the upside of stress is if you teach yourself stress is good, you're gonna be okay. And The Art of War, if you're in business, chances are the business people you're around have read it. You should read it too. 
And last, a quote from uh, Andrew Clay Shaver. Thank you very much.